Hey guys, Dustin with Custom Offsets here, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Today I'm joined by Hunter, and we're back with another episode of This or That. So we got Keaton by the camera. He's gonna ask us some questions. We're gonna answer them. It's pretty simple. But before we do that, uh, we'll start with CustomOffsets.com. We also have accessories, lighting, bumpers, spike lug nuts, a ceramic. We have a whole bunch of stuff. Just check it out. Um, and if you want to get entered to win a full build giveaway, you can do that. You pick up one of these cool T-shirts. We're actually twinning today. We didn't intend to do that, but we did it. Yeah. Give me some. Hell yeah. Anyway, customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. We're giving away Archon Wheels, Mickey Thompson Tire, Super Lift Suspension. Super simple. Let's do it. 5.9 or 6.7 coming. Okay. So this one's loaded too because do you want common rail or non common rail? True. Six, seven, right? Because they had all three. Mm -hmm. Man. Solid question either way, but. I'm gonna have to go 6.7 because fifth gen gets a 6.7. That's true. And it's dope. You know, I just, I'm such a sucker for fifth gen Ram trucks. They look super good. Uh, we did a What's the Hype episode on them a couple of weeks ago and I'm a pretty big fanboy of them. So it was really easy for me, but they look good. The interiors are awesome. Have you ever seen the, the screen they put in those? Um, I haven't on the 5th gen. I am pretty familiar on like the 2018 Ram 1500. I don't know if there's much difference. It's pretty similar. Okay. Yeah. Then so yes, the, I do know. Like the 5th gen Cummins get like in some of the top trims get literally an iPad, like a 12 inch screen that is massive. Okay. So for that reason, I'm going that direction. Okay. Um, I'll have to agree with you on the 6.7 as well, only because as time progresses, I'm starting to like Ram a lot more yeah. than how I used to. Um, so I guess for the same reason that you are, I would pick 6.7.2 just because of the fifth gen. I do like the look and I plan on getting one one day. Ooh. Even though I'm not a Dodge guy, but. And you can, you literally can stuff 35s on those trucks stock. <laughs> exactly. It's ridiculous. Okay, next question, Johnny. All right, AT4 or Z71? Interesting. I don't know all the package specifics on uh, the AT4s. I know Banker bought a Z71 mm -hmm. and his reasoning was the AT4 gets a factory lift kit and he figured that wasn't worth his time because he was just gonna cut his truck apart and put a massive lift kit on it anyway, which he did. I think the AT4 is cool. I think it's neat. You can get a truck from the factory that's well equipped. It's got a little bit of a lift on it. I, I'm pretty confident you can stuff 35s in there as well. Pretty sure we did it at one point. I know we had an AT4 uh, that we had done like a driving review on uh, in the past, but mm -hmm. pretty neat trucks. I'm interested to see how you answer this one because you're not a GM guy. I am not a GM guy whatsoever, and trust me, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, if I had to pick between the two, I'd get a Z71. Only reason being, just like you said, I'm gonna put a lift on it either way, no matter what I buy. If it, whatever brand, I'm going to put a lift on it. So um, I would just get a Z71. So. Yeah, easier that way. Yeah. And it's not like the Z71 is a slouch either. You're still getting the updated shocks and mm -hmm. all the goodies that come with that package. So, yeah. Next question. All right, cheap trucks, expensive build, or expensive truck, cheap build? This is a no brainer. I'm gonna let you go first. Uh, are we on the same page I don't. Here? I don't know, that's why I'm letting you go first. I would pick cheap truck, crazy build. Every day. Yep. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Because at that point you have a pretty much unlimited budget. Exactly. Which means yeah. you can build anything you want. You know, I've mm -hmm. been looking um, for a little while now actually for a Cat Eye Duramax oh, for yeah. that reason. They're not super spendy trucks, but then you can funnel your money into giving it the suspension you want, giving it the wheel and tire package you want, you know, the, the customized interiors, the star, mm -hmm. you know, the thousand star, or starry night headliner, you know, whatever you want to do, you have that room in your budget to do it, right? Versus True. on the other end, it's like, buy a brand new truck for 70 to $80,000 and slap some wheels and tires on it because your budget's tapped out, you know? Exactly. Wait, I need coffee. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, next question, okay. please. Nice. Bullnose Ford or Bricknose Ford? Mm. I love Bullnose Fords. I do. I love them so much. They remind me of being a little kid and like, we never, we had a Dodge growing up, but every time we would go to like the cattle yards on, you know, to take drop bull calves off at the auction, like, yeah. There were always trucks like that around and they were super cool. So for me, that's super, super nostalgic, you know? True. 
So for that reason, I would go bullnose. Okay. Um, I would go with uh, bullnose, oh, just like you. you. <laughs> so, um, I'm not a fan of the brick nose, even though the truck I had was kind of based off of that. It's that just a little bit yeah. um, stretched out, but yeah, I don't know. Tow mirror is up or tow mirror is down? So I, I assume we're talking specifically about a Dodge truck here. Cocky Dodge owners. Yeah, you better dodge that tow mirror. Yeah. Right, because flippable tow mirrors. Moose power. So do you want ghost trailer moose power or not be able to see anything? Because that's, a, I don't know if you've ever driven one of those trucks. I haven't, I've never driven one on the road. I mean, I have in parking lots and stuff, sure. but I've never went like on the highway on the road. So I don't know if that actually helps. It does. does so it? it's crazy. Okay. When you flip those mirrors in, you can see almost nothing out of them. Okay. It sucks. So that's why you see a lot of guys drive around with the moose power, or, you know, mirrors up. Hey, look at me, you know. Yeah. If you pull something, my eye, right, I get it. I get it. I get it. But you ain't pulling something. I mean, for sakes. Fold them in. You walk by them. Jesus Christ. I think I would leave them up as as much of a meme as that makes me. Just for the the visibility to be able to see back there is um, is worth it. I don't know. I'm. The older I get, the more I realize that if it's stupid, but it works, then it ain't stupid. Um, yeah, I yeah, will have to go. No. Whatever, dude. No. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I didn't. <laughs> um, I would leave them flipped up as well. Only reason being is that I have tow mirrors on my truck, and I can see a lot with them. Yeah. And it's it's lifted, but it's not lifted like Rainy's truck, where his is huge. So, um, Especially if you're that high in the air, you're gonna want to be able to see behind you and to the side of you. So Correct. For Absolutely. that reason, I would I would have them flipped up. Bonus question. <laughs> 90s Cartoon Network or 90s Nickelodeon? Oh my God! Don't do this to me. I can't. Were you? Even, wait, wait, hold on. Can you even pick one? Did you even watch TV in the 90s? Wasn't born in the 90s. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Stonks. <laughs> Listen, everything you remember that was pure and good from your childhood, make it 10 times better. That was 90s Cartoon Network or 90s Nickelodeon. Both of them, legit dude. Straight up, best TV I've ever seen. Oh man, pick one though. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, I... I used to watch Family Guy all the time at night and it was always on Adult Swim. All right, so here you go. So here's what you've got. 90s Nickelodeon had Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Keenan and Kiel, Cat Dog, dude, the Wild Thornberries, Rocket Power. 90s Cartoon Network had the Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I will say this right now, I do not remember watching any of those shows when I was a kid. <laughs> that on the no, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Listen, this is an easy one for me. It's Cartoon Network all day, every day, dude. Cartoon Network stacked. The 90s, fantastic television. And you can't pick one since you've never seen any of it. I can't pick one. Whatever, dude. This is the first time in this or that history that somebody hasn't been able to answer this, this or that. You made it, you made the records. Yeah. Rain down the confetti. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but. I can't wait for the internet to roast you in the yeah, comments. That's another episode of This or That. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Hunter, for joining us, even though we gave you a little bit of a hard time. Yeah. Uh, if you have This or That questions, drop them down in the comments below so that way we can answer them in the next episode of This or That. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making banging content just like this one. I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets, and we're out. Peace.